Scotty Cole in London. She's putting the finishing touches to a painting which originates from a different world and era in Sussex. That world is Charleston, the home of the Bloomsbury Group, which included painters Vanessa Bell and Duncan Grant. They were the first of a group of intellectuals to move to Charleston, a farmhouse which they distinctively decorated themselves. It's something that has meaning for me and um, I have visited Charleston many, many times and my family are from that area. Um, so it was something that was really familiar. So I decided that that would be quite interesting. And I'd also begun to think about interiors. But when I came to think about doing my own interiors, somehow that felt a little bit too difficult. So I then thought, well, Charleston interior is absolutely beautiful. So I would use that as my starting point. Lottie has studied the spaces at Charleston. Her method is to take photographs in situ. She then works straight onto canvas painting in oils. I chose the Vanessa Bell bedroom because as I walk round, it, to me, the, the scene that I painted was the most important part of the whole space at Charleston, which is that you would get up in the morning, you would literally go through a door and you would be in your studio. And I suppose for me, that would be a sort of absolute dream of how I would work and live. And as I was walking round, I just was really struck by the transition between the two spaces. So I wanted to capture that. What I was noticing as I went round, so the little details of the shell um, and the sort of arrangements between sort of postcards just resting on the wall, plus then the reflections that you see when all of the way the mirrors are orientated in the studio. So it's a classic artist studio with mirrors giving you reflection and light. Lottie's studio, like Vanessa's, is an offshoot of the main body of her house. Rather than doing detailed drawings, she uses the photos she's taken as a guide and record of what she saw. Then her own interpretation steps in. I switched on the fire, so it looks as though it's glowing, and there's a bottle of wine and a couple of glasses, just as a sort of nod to the fact that this would have been in use and people would have sat in front of the fire. So I think in the painting it's sort of an indetermined time of day, so it could be the morning after the glass of wine and but it could also be the evening so it's just um, I suppose to add a few little details that make it feel as though there's somebody is actually using the space rather than just a sort of museum object. Lottie admires the Bloomsbury group at Charleston for making their home their own. In the drawing room her painting like the room gives off a comfortable air. All the cushions were embroidered by Duncan Grant's mother. They made their own pottery, paintings, wallpaper and a rug. There's even a self-portrait of Vanessa Bell on the wall. Lottie's also depicted Monk's house where Vanessa's sister, Virginia Woolf, the writer, lived nearby. Not everything's explained in Lottie's pictures. Some of the details deliberately left to the imagination. I suppose I've quite often in the pictures have not shown a full room but used mirrors to suggest extra um, sense of space. So in one of the pictures um, of the upstairs spare bedroom with um, the pink armchair, I've got a little detail of some flowers and then that sort of, you can just see the corner of the bowl of flowers um, on the right hand side, just as a sort of, so that you know that there's a whole nother room that you can't see. I think that allows you to sort of enter into the painting and use it as a sort of imaginative springboard. Lottie's aim isn't to replicate, but to create a world of her own. I think the underlying feelings that I want the paintings to evoke are really that it's a space that someone might just have left or could just come back to. So the fact that the sofas look really comfy and there's wonderful sort of heavily upholstered cushions and tapestries and those sorts of things and fireplaces, those are such universal objects in everybody's home 
that that's what's really appealing. Um, so you can know about all of the background of the story of the people who live there, but equally, if you don't, you'll still think a nice, big, warm armchair and a fireplace would, you know, it is very interesting and appealing. <laughs>